Fee, 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 fee. Like, share and subscribe or I'm gonna make you lick me. You like that? You wanna lick these chicken nuggets? I don't think you do, so like, share, subscribe and watch all my videos over and over again or I'm gonna make you lick me. Okay? What's up guys and gals? This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media, like, share, and subscribe. What's up guys and gals? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a broken tint that has rip or torn mesh and nets around pop-up tint. This happens often with any sharp objects or just leaving your pop-up tints outside. So the only way I really fix this is either glue it together with various crazy glues or sewing it. I like sewing because sewing's really cheap, thread is really cheap. So in this option, I'm just gonna sew it together. So stay tuned and watch. And the first step to the sewing is you have to get in a position to where you can actually sew the rip part. So in this instance, it's near the floor. And so I'm gonna put the sewing machine on the floor and position it in a way that I can sew it. And on top of that, I'm just not sewing it straight. I'm actually using a, I think, I believe it's called a cross stitch just to start it off, which on my sewing machine can be either number three, 12 or 13 or five or 14 or two. Uh, as you can see from my sewing machine right there, as long as you can cross stitch it, and then after you cross stitch it, then I go for the straight stitching, which is, I like number 11. So I just cross stitch it first to hold it together and then I constantly use number 11 back and forth. Shine so bright, walk with me in the night, feel the love in the air, take my hand if you dare, music plays on the street, rhythms move to the beat, laughter echoes around. Stellar race 
zip it up and everything seems to be holding up together you can see it here it doesn't look as good here but when you zoom out or walk like anywhere between five and six feet away from it it's kind of hard to tell where it's ripped There it is guys, when you have it fully popped out, you kind of don't notice and you forget about it. And it makes your tent way better in terms of looks without having a giant rip on it. And on top of that, obviously it keeps out the mosquitoes, gnats, flies, any type of bug that wants to get in. And that's how you fix a tent by sewing it. You can also do this by gluing it with various glues such as 3MPR um, series of Scotch Weld. Uh, you can use super glue, crazy glues, they all kind of work too, but they're more expensive because you're going to be using a lot more glue and sewing is cheap as long as you have a sewing machine or you can hand sew it too. That's also an option. So you can hand sew it by hand. I just use a machine because it's just easier, but you can do the same exact thing I did in this video by hand sewing. And I hope you like this video guys. Like, share, and subscribe, and see my other videos. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media. And if you like my videos, like, share, and subscribe. You want to lick these chicken nuggets? I don't think you do, so like, share, subscribe, and watch all my videos over and over again, or I'm going to make you like me. Okay.